Ciao, welcome to the stream, welcome to the stream. Hope you all are having a good day today, man. What is going on, uh, chat? Let me just tweet out I'm live real quick, and then uh, we can hop in. Uh, oh, let me fix my camera, I'll move it this way. Okay, let me tweet out. What's up, Anas? What's up, uh, Kiyotaka? Welcome to the stream. Live now, grinding Grand Cross. Um, okay, let me put... I put like an image or something. Uh, I'll put Arthur's art. We'll do that. There we go. What's up, chat? What's up, man? Hope y'all are having a good day today. Um, okay, give me a sec here. Uh, I'm gonna let Marlo out of my room real quick. I'll give you a sec, chat. Where's that camera, real quick? Uh, boom. Okay. Alrighty guys, welcome, welcome. Hope you all are having a good day today. And uh, yeah, we got a grind on Grand Cross. What's up, chat? What's up? Okay, um, let's see. Which account do I want to start with first? I have them both open, as you guys can see. Um, do I have DK today on uh, on the free to play? I do. Um, no way, early stream. Oh, it's not early stream, guys. It's the fact that uh, time went forward. Uh, for uh, for America, so it was like daylight savings. So uh, yeah, that's why uh, <laughs> I am streaming. I guess an hour uh, early for you guys, but technically uh, this is still 2 p.m. for me. Um, yeah. All right, let me gear my entire team here, and we'll hop in and do DK. Usually my DK runs are kind of tough, guys. So we'll see, man. Uh, good morning, amazing. Good morning. Uh, it's good, good afternoon for me. <laughs> But, uh, what's up, what's up, uh, uh, Kill Vermeer? Um, and then we'll do, sure, I'll take that gear. Uh, Jake, what's up? Rag, what's up? Uh, Alpharezza, what's up? Matthew, Pablo. What's up, guys, what's up? Say hello in the chat, man. If you guys are just tuning in. Say hello, say hello. Um, okay, let me swap to this side. It's time to get that 70S working, yes, sir. Um, I think we're good to go. 2 p.m. is 2 a.m. here. Wow. Hello, sir. Amazing. Go. What's up, man? Uh. Uh, Borito, what, what's up, bro? Welcome to the stream. Let me just gear all the links, guys, and then uh, we'll hop in here. But uh, how are y'all doing today, man? Back on back on the Grand Cross grind. It's Monday. You know, uh, Monday uh, afternoon or morning, whatever time it is for you. Um, hope y'all are doing good today. Um, yeah, there we go. So we got, uh, I think everyone is geared now. There we go. And then on your side. Oh, okay, we're going to have to fix that. Yeah, guys, we're just gearing up the team real quick. And then uh, we'll hop into DK. And uh, we'll clear that. Leo, what's up, man? Just about to get Nidhogg done for this? Nice. Yeah, no, I gotta do... I think I have to do pretty much all the weekly reset stuff today, guys. So, um, a lot to do. A lot to do for sure. Um, we'll see. Uh, yo, amazing, did you see anime? Uh, Molecular Revived. Oh, yes, yes, in Fort Koa. Yes, sir. Uh, spoilers for anyone that hasn't seen, Molecular does come back in Fort Koa, y'all. Um, and that is pretty cool. Definitely very, very cool. I hope they make a unit of her in Grand Cross. That would be dope, right? You know? Chaos Molasula, hello. Uh, amazing, how are you? I'm doing pretty good, Gio. What's up? What's up? Hope you're doing good. Uh, I just did my first True Awakening and I chose Brunhild, really? I'm probably going to take Transcendent Bond. I think Transcendent Bond will probably be the one I do because I think I run him on like every team. And I have 100 human uh, True Awakening materials, whatever. So I feel like that's like just a free one I could just do, you know? Um, let's see, let's see. Klopp, what's up, man? The free-to-play god. Klopp is here. What units are the best for a human team in PvP? Um, I'd say 
Wow, double buff? That's crazy. I don't have that. I don't have buff on the other side, do I? I don't. I do have the... Uh... Oh no, this is not Valentine's DN, bro. I have the outfit, which trips me out. This is my free-to-play account. Uh, I'm in timeout on your Discord now. TJ, what'd you do, bro? TJ, what'd you do, bro? Um... DK boss can't see that shit anymore. Farm so much. Oh yeah, no clap. I I feel you, bro. I haven't even farmed it a lot, and I just don't like doing it. You know, it's just like I'm I'm not <laughs> I'm not trying to do it. Uh, so amazing has the next alert been leaked? No, they haven't. No. What's the best way to get pendants? You got your event dungeon, man. Event, uh, you know, I forget, I forget exactly like what the uh, I forget exactly what the like um. What it's actually called. It's just like four soldiers event uh dungeon, right? The so the pendant one. Um what units are the best uh for community and PPG? Yeah, so let me uh answer what uh Borito said. So it'd be probably um I'm just gonna do uh this real quick. I think it would probably be LR Escanor, Bon, Arthur, and then Red Roxy Backline. I think that's probably the best team or the best variant. Um, but there are a lot of, uh, a lot, a lot of other variants, there we go, a lot, a lot of, a lot of other variants you can run, so, you know, there's that at the very least. Uh, okay, let's see. Ow? Okay, I might have to restart, guys. We're kind of getting cooked here. Also, we did not get, uh, Albedo's, uh, uh, set up here, so, I mean, we'll try. I mean, I'll, I'll still try and counter and see if I can get the kill. Through all the uh, countering or not. But I'll just waste all of these. Oh, I need a stance next turn? Well, I'm gonna have the top deck. Uh, uh, nothing. I just showed one of Albedo's outfits to the Discord. Okay, well, you must have done something wrong because my, my mods don't usually just uh, time you out for nothing, man. Um, Demona, what's up, man? Hope you're doing well. I'm using uh, Collab Girl instead of Esther at the moment. Don't know if it's better. I haven't lost though yet. Collab girl? Oh, like Yuri. Oh, Yuri is good. Yuri is definitely good. Bop. Okay, I think I had uh, all the requirements on the other side, so I can sw switch over. I don't have buff. I don't have buff. Damn. You know what I'm gonna do, guys? I'm gonna restart. I think I just got a bad, like, RNG on the first, uh, like, draw. They asked me for two buff cards, bro. I was not gonna get that unless I top decked. So that was kind of, uh, just unfortunate. That's why I don't like DK, man. I feel like this is the only game mode in Grand Cross where I restart a run because of RNG. Like, that's that. I don't know. It, Chad, is that just a, like me? Like, I feel like DK is the only mode in the game I'll quit the run just because I got bad RNG. Like, any other run on, like, Nidhogg or something, even if I'm getting bad RNG, I'll still let the run rock. Like, I won't just, like, insta quit, you know? You know what I mean? Um, okay, let me uh, do this. Yo, amazing! did you hear the guaranteed SSR on the free banner is bugged and should be a selected SSR? Oh, is it? Is it actually bugged? I didn't know it was bugged. Um, I remember it saying it was a select SSR, right? Um, and then, and then when I did it in game, it was just, it gave me an SSR. Yeah, so, um, is that, is that a thing, guys? Are they gonna let us, like, are they gonna compensate us with a, with a pick? Cause I remember, like, I remember telling uh, people that you had a guaranteed select, and then when we did it, uh, we didn't get a select, right? Um, I have to get uh, HP food though. Okay, so wait, did they make that in? In they said they wouldn't compensate. Oh, that's a W. That's two for units, y'all. Let's go. AW Grand Cross. Wait, where did you guys see this? Is it on the uh, on the patch? Let me see. Let me see. Is it on JP patch? Let me pull it up. Um. Regarding, is it here? No. Maybe issues? Oh, confirmed issues. Here we go. Oh, that's crazy, guys. Right here. They're right. Wow. Yo, I gotta send that in my group chat real quick. Cause I, cause I had. Uh... <laughs> Wait, let me screenshot this real quick, guys. <laughs> let me send that in my group chat real quick.
okay, there we go. Um, uh, okay, let me open back up. Let me close this. My bad, y'all. Now Marble made an oopsie. Yes, they did. Yes, they did. Alright, guys, let's hop back into DK then. Um, and we will see. Thanks for letting me know, chat. I saw, like, um, the thing for it, but, uh... I didn't, I didn't know, like, they, they were compensating and stuff. That's pretty nice, because that means we all got a free SSR, yo. Wait! Chat. Are they, they better not fix that before Global gets it. Let me do my summons real quick. My free ones. Do I have enough? Oh, I'm still two days away, though. I'll do these real quick, though. Amazing MVS is back. Congrats, Kelber. Uh, <laughs> hope you have fun, I guess. <laughs> Alright, let's just skip these multis. Nothing crazy. Oh, amazing, guess what? I beat the first two floors of, Sco uh, of Scotty. Skull and Hottie. Uh, without the Holy Relic made for it. Nice. Nice, nice. Uh, Tahir uh, Hamid, uh, thank you for the sub, man. Appreciate you. Boom. Wow. Uh, hey, amazing. Do you know when Heroes Arena will be available? Once Labyrinth leaves. Right now, Labyrinth is still uh, ongoing, guys. Is that Chiro? Welcome to the stream, man. Hope you're doing well. Boom. Oh, don't need Green Gother on my main. The only character I think I need on my main on this banner is like... Mono, I think? I think it's just Mono. Yeah, I think it is just Mono. Hey, that's so dope, because I remember that this was supposed to be a selector, right? They said it in the patch notes. It's like, low-key, this is um false advertising, bro. Because I remember, but I guess it's a free banner, so they can't really say false advertising. Like, they can, but they could just say it's an issue, you know? Um, you too, my guy. Good luck summoning. Thank you, man. It was just free summon, so nothing crazy, but... Um, yeah. Yeah, attack rate. Oh, and then they fixed bug because uh, Green Gulter is the only unit I need on that banner? Yeah, no, that's fair. I want Ragnarok Dian so bad. Yeah, I, she was, for, for like, free for a while. Uh, but I guess they, uh, yeah, Demona, they did give Summer Diana for free, but I need dupes as well, I think. Um, so I'm with you on that. But, uh, yeah, let's hop back in though, guys, and let's see. Let me just, uh, put this here so I don't get the, uh, so I don't get the, like, uh, hawk jumping thing. Uh, Leone, what's up, bro? Welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing well. Also amazing, thanks for the tips on beating the bird. I finally beat him on the goddess... Uh, on the guys with the uh, LR Liz. Oh, you use guys team. Nice, man. Nice. That is a W right there. Amazing. Did you know that JP is cheaper than global in terms of diamond purchases? I did not. Damn, man. The, the perks of being a JP player, I guess, right? How you doing, man? I'm doing pretty good. How about you, bro? Alright, please give me, like, the right conditions, bro. I hate Demon King. It's the only mode I will quit out because of my RNG, bro. Like, deadass. Um, okay, we could let this rock. We could let this rock. <laughs> I spent 200 gems yesterday and got two Sariels. Hate to see it, man. It do be like that. That's good, Leonair. Um, what's currently the strongest character in the game? Um, Demon King Meliodas, probably. Overall, right? Like, if we're talking, like, all units in the game... Uh, yeah, probably Demon King Melly. He, he is the most valuable. He's the MVP, yo. He's the MVP. <laughs> I need a snake whip. Uh, can't farm deer. Wish you'd be the next summon banner. Zachiro, there is a method to uh, farming uh, the demonic beast uh, deer without using um, Jormungan. And it is faster than using Jormungan as well. So check out my video I posted today. And uh, maybe see if you can get that team going. Arthur is just that good. Arthur is really just that good. Can you do this without Albedo? Yes, you can. Um, but uh, it just kind of depends on the setup you're running, right? I personally, like, I, I run Albedo one side and then my other team is Sin. Sin's team is really good too. Like, this team could easily beat uh, DK on their own. And you could have another team be, like, a team you sack. Right? So, I just have this team uh, for my free-to-play since I have Albedo and all of that to use her. But, uh, yeah, no, like... Um, it definitely is possible, though, without Albedo, for sure. And, um... Yeah, I've done runs. I've done runs on the channel, I think, without her, too. Um... Uh, so you're saying I shouldn't get Jorman's Relic with the free relic they're giving? No, I mean, you should. You definitely should. 
um, because it's going to be good. But if you can farm it without even using Jormungand, you might not even need it though. Because uh, the team I made a video on uh, today uh, is just faster. You know what I mean? It, it is just faster. Um, and, you know, it's a stronger team, so... Uh, while well, human, can I use besides Levi and Deer? I can. Uh, can I use LR uh, Liz because red attribute? Um, you could, but I think the thing is, Brian, like you want to like kind of like benefit the whole team with the human setup. So if you don't have Levi, do you have Reinhardt from the Rezero collab? Do you have uh, Rudius from Mushoku Tensei? I know a lot of collab characters are red, but that's kind of just what Grand Cross does. Um, I'm trying to think like what's another like. Yeah, what's another, like, uh, character you you could use? I don't even know. Um, this this side level level 3s it does, okay. So we could just switch back to unknown when we do attack. That's fine. So it's mainly the Sins team that's important? I would say so. Yeah, I'd say uh, Sins team is probably one of the most important teams here you could run. Can I use Merlin with Relic on DK Battle? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, amazing. Uh, I often see you put rare runes on your tank characters. I was wondering what rules you put on it and why you make rare. Uh, yes, that's a good question, man. Um, the reason why I do that is because triple defense, uh, means you're not running HP defense, right? Which means you're less HP, generally speaking. And when you run a rare rune, and specifically the rules I have on mine are recovery rate. So, uh, here. This is my JP, so I can switch over to global and show you what I mean. For just for a sec. The philosophy on my gear, man. That's this is why we do it. Um, I mainly learned this like tactic for gear from Nidhog when it initially came out, guys. Um, that was the main thing for it. Um, let me just see. It'll load. Come on. Uh oh, wrong thing. I meant to do uh this right here. Defense. No defense. Defense. Boom. Yeah. The reason why I do this gear set. Um, the main reason for that is. You have less HP because it's a rare rune itself. And recovery rate with Red Tarmiel Link. Recovery rate increases the amount of heal you get back when you take hits with Red Tarmiel Link. So on my tank characters, I like to run triple defense because they'll be the lowest HP. So they'll get targeted by the by the Demonic Beast, the boss, whatever. And you'll also be tanking really well because you probably have Red Tarmiel Link on that character. And the recovery rate will help that character... Um, heal more back from Red Tarmiel Link. That's the main reason why I do triple defense with the rune. And I learned this from when Nidhogg came out. Um, the main strategy for Nidhogg at the time was when you use Queen Dien, you use this setup, right? Uh, but that's pretty much the, the main explanation. I mean, you could still run like HP defense, but if you run HP defense, you might not taunt uh, correctly because you might have higher HP than someone else on the team. But, uh, there you guys go, man. That is the reason why I use that gear. It, it is, uh, you know, it is definitely very good. Even on my main account, I use it. So, if I'm using it on that, guys, then you should know it's it's a, a good setup for sure. Um, let's do this, this, that. Finally, someone explains it, bro. Thank you. No problem, man. Yeah, because I, uh, I like to run it a lot just because it's very consistent, you know? Any Demonic Beast I do... Um, and I want a character to get targeted no matter what, I put that gear set on. Right? So. Uh, that is pretty much the explanation for that, though. Uh, started this game free-to-play after watching your videos. Going uh, to get my second LR today. Uh, after 10 LR coins released in exchange, what gear set for LR Asinor? Full defense or attack defense? Attack defense. Uh, you would, you would do attack defense just because, uh, Asinor benefits off defense. But obviously, you want him to be a damage dealer, generally speaking. Um, PvP, though, like, like, in the high levels, you would do HP defense. But, like, if you just want a general set for Eskinor, attack defense, attack crit damage is fine. Uh, thank you. I remember you commenting on it on a previous video, but I didn't quite catch it and I lost the video. Really appreciate this. No problem, man. That is how you do it, though. Um, okay, he's still immortal, so I'll switch back to this side. We're still taunting. Uh, I'm just going to waste these cards then. Yeah. I'm gonna waste these cards right here. Yeah. Uh, thanks for the guy for birds. Started to get into Demonic Beast in the human team uh, the first time I beat all three stages. Hey, really? With human team? That's crazy, man. Yeah, human team is really, really good, though, to be fair. Yeah, George, I explained it more in my Nidhogg guide. If you watch that guide specifically, and you want like another in-depth explanation on why I use that triple defense set, you can watch that video. 
and uh, in there I do explain it as well. So yeah, I mean, people have known I run that gear set for a while now, but it is just really good, you know, it, it really is. So um, a gear set I definitely recommend uh, you guys use for sure, man. Uh, okay, let's do this. Let's do level two, and I'll do level one, and then we'll get a rank up. And I'm going to switch over to the other team and let them die. And then we're going to counter. Yes, sir. That's going to be pretty far. So you think I should swap out my 15% HP gear on Chandler and make it triple defense with the rare rarity? Uh, mainly asking for PvP. I would say not for PvP. Um, because PvP is different, right? It's not like the, the person in PvP always is going to attack the lowest HP. In PvP, it's different. So... With PvP, you have to run your, your best set, so like HP defense, attack crit damage, whatever you're normally running, you stay on PvP. In PvE, it's different though, because that's when they start targeting you, right? So that's why in PvE, I personally run uh, triple defense, right? Because I think uh, running it on that is going to be a lot safer um, in general. So that, that is pretty much why I run uh, triple defense. But you don't do it in PvP, because people won't target the lowest HP character. They'll target whoever they want, right? So that's why that doesn't really matter in uh, in the context of PvP, right? So that, that's the way I'd put it, though. Do you know how to start another account while keeping the one you already have? Um, I guess just keep your information, Bardock. Just remember the information you have for it, right? That's probably the, the way you would go about it. Uh, Purgatory Bond, if you don't have collabs, might work, though. Uh, since you don't have Transcendent Bomb for Deer, true, 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 for sure. There we go, guys. Good run. See, I had to reset for that, though. That's the annoying part, is, like, for the for the DK, I had to reset to get a good passive there, bro. Or, like, the good uh, starting run. Alright, let's switch over to my main now and do it. Now I want to build up my PvP team that isn't fully meta for Chaos uh, Arthur. Chaos Arthur, LRS, or Green Mono, and Jillian Slash Death Pierce. Just blow people away with Arthur's attack card turn 1, really. Um, usually with Arthur, you kind of want to save it a little bit, right? But, uh, yeah, man, I mean, uh, that definitely is good, though. Okay. I'm going to try uh, Bomb with uh, Albedo. I know people have suggested it to me, and I haven't really, like, given it a shot. But I think it is probably good. So I will actually run that real quick and give it a try. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> or you could just change server. That's true. Um, if you change server to Asia, you could play Asia server if you want to. Uh, but that, that's up to you, right? That's not like um, a whole different... Like, it's not JP server, though. Right? But it would let you like swap between two accounts uh, at once, which is pretty nice. Nanashi... And then go through, right? I guess the only thing with this... I mean, he can cleanse. He can cleanse, right? He cleanse... Wait, does Bomb... Uh, I forget if he cleanses himself or if he cleanses the... Uh, I forgot the way he works. Oh, hey, Marlo. What's up? He removes all debuffs from allies and increases hero skill ranks. Yeah, so he does for one turn. He does. And then if I can get the rank 3 of this, he would anyway. So, yeah. I guess that's fine. Go third. And I'll switch the uh, the other side. I'll rock. Instead of go through here, I'll just run like Transcendent Bond, I guess. I'll run. I'll run Merlin. I'll run Merlin. Because uh, she gets 15% basic. Bro, the stream is earlier today. Guys, it's uh, uh, Daylight Savings, man. That's why uh, it's not technically earlier today. Um, This is just the time now after Daylight Savings for me. So the time did change. Um, but that's why it might be one hour earlier for you guys. Because uh, the out we lost an hour of sleep, pretty much, for Daylight Savings. So, that's why, man. Um, be up. Uh, let me put Sario Link. Or I'll put uh, my L Link is fine, actually. My L Link is okay. What's up, amazing? Thanks again for reviewing my account. No problem, man. I'm glad you like this, Sage. Uh, let's put... Uh, oh, I have it filtered still. That's why. There we are. Um, attack crit damage. I need to make attack crit for my albedo, man. Just for this, specifically. Dash, what's up, bro? Hope you're doing well. I mean, I could just run it with Bon, Yuri, and Fest Elders, but where's the fun in that? I mean, that is pretty fun. Uh, chat, why are we saving daylight? I think, I don't know the exact reasoning for it. 
I'm not gonna lie, but I think it's for like Isn't it for like farming and stuff too? Like I, maybe I'm completely off of that But isn't it for like farming so that like farmers get an extra like hour of like daylight or whatever? I don't I don't know what it is man. I don't know like it, it could be that or it could just be that you know um, around these specific times of the year they want like more daylight for like Depending on the time of year, I guess. I don't know. I I, I couldn't tell y'all. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. I don't know. So what do I have to look into? But I just don't know. Your stats go down if you use gear that's not engraved for that person. No, they don't. Um, but you won't get the engraving stats though. You won't get the the actual engraved stats though. That is the only thing. Um, who do you run link here? Bro, I have so many links. I just like don't use though. I'm gonna run uh, Meliodas then, sure. Oh, this Melio, this is my main. Alrighty, let's do attack food it is. And then, let's see. Okay. Thank you, Google. Oh, okay, you Googled it? What did it say on Google? What did it say? Alright, I think we're good to go, guys. Let's just make sure the gear on the links is fine and good. And then let's see. Alright, perfect. Let's hop in. As I semi free to play player, what pack slash bundles do you recommend buying? Uh, the only ones I'd recommend for a light spender would be the rank up bundles. So that's if you're like on a festival banner and you're like, damn, I need currency fast, you buy those. Um, other than that, it would be uh, your weekly and your monthly. Th those are the only three things I would buy as a free-to-play. Or, like, not a free-to-play, but a light spender. You, you guys know what I mean. Um, Star in World War 1 used to conserve energy resources. Yeah, that's what I mean. So, like, for farming, um, for, like, you know, stuff like that, right? Like, that, that's the whole reason for, like, daylight savings. From That's what I got from it. Um, if I wanted to play two accounts on the PC version, would I have to download the PC client again? Oh, you want to play, like, two separate versions, Bardock. So, yeah. For that, you have to, like, are you asking, like, what I'm doing right now, where I have, like, both my JP and my Global open? Um, if you want to do that, you have to download both the JP and the, the Global versions. Um, and that's how you're able to do it. Um, but yeah, that, that, that's the way you, you want to do it, if you're going to be doing it. Uh, okay. We actually, uh, let this rock. It's actually a good setup. Debuff. Um, attack cards. So we could waste this. Yeah, and then yeah, 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 we have rank up. Okay, we're good, we're good. This works out. I have Yuri, but I missed her uh, relic. So rip, yo, her relic is so good though, Matthew. Um, next collab, you might have to just get Yuri's relic. <laughs> like, if they get an extra collab box or something, man, maybe get that because uh, it is pretty good. It is definitely very, very good. How do you download the JP version? Bardock, check out on my channel. I did a how to download. Um, how to download Grand Cross on PC. And I linked the JP version on that video as well. So check out that uh, check out that video, man. Um, okay, I'm going to rank up Albedo. Right? So that she gets rank 3 by the time she's attacking. I'm going to do this. And I'll uh, do this bomb card right there. Got her literally last hour. Nice. DK is so easy for you that you're playing uh, that you're playing two games at once. Well, it's not easy for me. I just understand how to do the fight, right? If you understand how to do DK, it's not that bad. Um, it's a lot easier when when you understand how to do it, honestly. Um, let's do that, and then we'll just waste uh, this card right there. Okay, I think they're all dead, guys. Or uh, DK is dead here because I have like the debuff immunity, attack up. Like, this has to be, like, a one-bang. Guaranteed. Let's see. Good morning, uh, good morning, amazing. Nice to see you streaming. Uh, Luke, thank you. Welcome to the stream, man. Hope you're doing well. What is going on? What is going on? Bob. Oh, my. <laughs> Six million. Damn. Do you think the next big banner is? The next big banner? Um, well, it will probably be in, like, what? Uh, Jay Piani, most likely, right? That's probably the next big one. Um, we have level 3s and level 2s and level... Yeah, level 1. Perfect. Okay, so we could, we could stall on this team for a sec. Uh, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. 
Uh, I have a friend jumped from Hive just because Gelda got leaked. Yeah, Gelda is leaked as well. She might be the unit that comes out this week, guys. She might. Uh, who do you think the next... Yeah, no. So the next big banner is probably going to be uh, Jay Piani, Right? Uh, they'll end STS with King Melly or Stark for Koa on Jay Piani. I agree. Something along the lines of that. Um, it would be kind of weird to get a Meliodas though kind of in the middle of the year though, right? That means DK Melly would only have, uh, what? Like, he'd only have had like six months of being like the best, like, uh, you know, character, whatever. That'd be a little weird, but I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm for it though. Uh, okay, I'll see that. And then we'll do that. How are you today, amazing? I'm doing pretty good, uh, Bamboo. How you been? Call me crazy, but Jim Relic can make collab team great in PvP. If it was backline too, um, I think it would be really, really good. Because it's not backline. It has to be on field for it to be, like, super crazy, though. That's the only thing. That's the only thing holding that back, I think. Uh, level 2, level 1, level 2. Okay. We swap over to this team and stall a little bit more. Who is better for coin shop? Fest, Liz, Bon, or Kusak? Fest, Liz, Bon, or Kusak? Uh, Bon, for sure. Um, of those three. Because Fest, Liz, I assume you mean Goddess Elizabeth, right? The original one. And then we're talking about also, uh, Kusak right now, which is not that crazy. Um, uh, if I had to pick a festival of those three, I'd pick, uh, Purgatory Bon. And I feel like Purgatory Bon is eventually going to get a really, really strong LR. Um, when he gets LR, it's going to be kind of crazy, honestly. Um, yeah. Let's switch back over to this side. Let's do this. Let's do that. Let's do that. And that's gonna stun. And then we buff up. And we kill. Yes, sir. And then we should be good, guys. Damn, Albedo's hitting super hard. Yo, bomb is the way to go. Viola's is, is the way to go, y'all. Okay, let's see. He got all. He's about to ult me though, unfortunately. So I have to swap over to this team, I think, because I don't think I'll tank it. I have to swap over to this team and, uh, and just tank the ult, y'all. <sighs> um, I guess I could attack. Yeah, I mean, I guess I could just do this, right? <laughs> or that too. I, I thought I was gonna have to switch back over to the other team and counter kill him, but hey. Oh, wow, we got Chaos Fragments. That's crazy. Bro, I did not expect that to kill y'all. <laughs> that is kind of crazy. Yo, Deanna is so good. She, she is really good, though, right? Because, bro, yeah, that, that is uh, pretty insane. All right, let, let's go back to my free-to-play. Uh, we got Demonic Peaks, I uh, think we need to do, right? It reset, yep. Um, the question is, though, guys, I think I'm not going to do Nidhogg. Guys, I think I'm not going to do Nidhogg. I have all the Nidhogg relics already. Which one should we do? Bird, Deer, or uh, Skull and Hottie? I feel like Skull and Hottie just for Zeldris. Zeldris Relic, I think I want to get next. So I think I might do Skull and Hottie. This is my first time I'm going to be selecting something other than Nidhogg. But guys, look. I have... I have mats prepped already for Nidhogg. So, like, if we go to it... Yeah, look, I have 26. You know what I mean? So there's no reason for me to, you know, keep doing that. Yeah, I'm going to do Skull and Hottie. I'm going to do Skull and Hottie then. Let's do that. This is the first time I'm selecting Skull and Hottie uh, after so long, man. It's been so long. Oh, uh, it's crazy. Um, let's run full human team. Why not? Where's my Roxy at? Let's have some fun, man. This is this is this is the fun team right here. This is this is the fun team. Uh, I'll put Sorry Link on you. I need to make attack crit. You argue for Roxy though. I don't have that on my free to play, do I? I don't. You know I'm gonna make that right now. I'll make that right now. Roxy is worth an attack crit you are. Uh, let's see. Do I have an attack set? I do. Look at that. Um, this is a 519 one. We'll take that. 277 one. 260. 140. Look at that. We got all these max base stat rolls ones. You see how much gear I just like level up, guys, over time? And I just like collect... So I already have like all really good base stat stuff now. I just have to re-roll the actual rolls. I have 8,000 anvils. It's crazy. That's how you know I've not leveled. I've made a gear set in a while. 
Okay, let's let that re-roll, guys. And then I guess what we'll do is we'll do something on my main. Maybe we'll do, like... Let's see. What do I need to do on my main? Do I have the demonic piece on my main, too? I do. You see, on my main, I have all holy relics in the game, guys. So, I at that point, I am doing only Nidhogg. On my main, at least. Because I ain't got nothing else to use my weekly on. <laughs> and I know we're not getting another bird relic or anything like that, so... Uh, let me drop human team and we'll put on um, goddesses again. Where is... Oh no, we need... Uh, we need Summer Margaret. Mayel. What character do you think is going to release in the JP Annie? Uh, and if he's going to be the Leonis King Melly or no? It's possible, guys. Honestly, it is possible for Leonis King Melly. Um, just because of the fact that they might want to, you know, push like the end of Seven Deadly Sins, and then uh, for Koa maybe by, um, you know, may maybe by later later half of this year, they they definitely could. But I mean, we would have to see. You know, I don't know for sure. But uh, it does make a lot of sense that they, they, that they could do that though, for sure. Um, and uh, who is the last character? Oh, Freya. Yeah. Freya. Um, Freya. When it comes to getting max base stats on gear, is it uh, better to spend anvils or just grind for the gear? Well, grinding for the gear obviously is the way to go. But uh, if you are making a gear set on the fly, then yeah, I mean, doing it with uh, thing is fine. Um, with uh, anvils to reroll. That, that is completely fine, I think. Finishing bird relic is crazy. Is it? <laughs> uh, where's my time, y'all? Am I still going? No way. Oh, wow. We're still going, guys. A thousand anvils! A thousand anvils! I low-key pay someone to do it for me? That's crazy. That is so crazy. Oh, yeah. Let's see this. I need to make... Bro, another thing, too, guys. Gloxinia, you are geared. That guy's true awakened and everything, too. Um... Mark Elias, uh, and LR Melly, though. And then you can get Sario Link. Yes, sir. That's how we do it. Rip Ambles for real, man. Oh, there we go. This is about to be a really good set for uh, Roxy, though. I mean, I said 2.7. No, 2.7 or higher. Relax. I don't know why I said 2.8. There we go. We'll let that roll. Is that our Galaxinia good? CC-wise, second highest CC character in the game. Um, At least at that, right? So... Um, other than that, um, he's okay. You know, Fairy Team is... If they ever get another character that replaces a lane, they are a relevant team. Deadass, guys. Like, I'm, I'm being serious. Like, they replace a lane, and they have a relevant PvP team that could be, good, like, really, really good. Because Jelly King is strong. They just need another, like, DPS, like, buffer character. Kind of like Arthur, actually, for humans. Like, they need something like that. And then they're cooking, for sure. Um, but, yeah, once they get a character like that, then uh, it's over. Because right now, Jelly King and Glocks is such a good combo. The damage you do is absolutely insane. Like, it's kind of absurd, actually. Um, yeah, man. Just just crazy damage. Just crazy damage. So. Yeah, let's hop in and do a Nidhogg run. Uh, while we have the other account, reroll anvils for one gear set that's taken how much anvils? Um, yeah, they could probably contend with, like, Demon Team for something. Lol. I don't know about that, Gumbo, because I think Jelly King gets to 70k CC. Um, so he's 70k. Gloxania is 75, right? 74.5... No, he's like 74.8 or something like that, which is pretty much 75k CC. And then you have, if they get a new fairy character that's really good, probably like 70k, right? And then their backline's Fast Zeldris. He's like 68, 69 with True Awakening. That's still pretty good CC-wise. Like, it's not better than the other teams, but I'd say it's still an option, though, for sure. Right? Uh... That is true, though. That is true, though. I agree with you. I, I do think that uh, Sins and Humans are on another level. Uh, for sure. You see how it took... You see how it took only one big character to make Humans, like, a number one... An arguably number one team in the game, though, right? It literally took Arthur and, and what he did for the team, so... Um, if they get something like that, then they're cooking. Oh, we're done. Look at that, guys. W. Alright, let me... I have to level, up, level this up. What race is Gelda? She's a vampire in the actual show. So most likely in the game, she'll probably be unknown because we don't have vampire in the game. Um, I know a few people were uh, speculating like demon, but I mean, sure, like, I guess, but like, 
I don't know. It doesn't make sense to me. Like, if she's a vampire, she's not a demon. That's a whole different race. So, I don't think that makes sense to me personally. But, um, if that's the way they're gonna, the way they're gonna do it. I think she's gonna be unknown, though, just because of the fact that any character that isn't, uh, one of the main races in the game, um, is unknown, right? Uh, or a character that isn't defined of their race, we don't know their race, is unknown, too. Um, like, Nanashi at the time, you didn't know his race. Tristan, you technically don't know his race. And he's also technically a separate race, he's Nephilim, so, uh, yeah, so because of that, he, that actually makes the most sense, that he, uh, she would be unknown then. Because, technically, Tristan is a whole new race, and he's unknown too. So, I think that actually makes a lot of sense, he, uh, Geld is unknown too. It's either that they create vampire race and she's unknown, uh, if knows ends or busts. I agree, um, cause the thing is, guys, uh, vampire race would only have one unit. <laughs> <laughs> At least that, that I know of, because I don't think there's any other relevant vampire character from uh, SDS. I, I mean, if you guys can let me know. I personally don't know any other character, though. But, um, yeah, that, that's what I would say, though, personally. Gelda is going to buff Zeldris in some way. Going to be shocked if she don't? Really? I don't think she needs to. I don't think she needs to. She doesn't need a buff Zeldris, right? I mean, it makes it makes sense in her, in her like, character, but... I don't think she needs to buff Zelda's. I think she could be like a like an unknown support and that'd be fine. You know, I mean, the unknown players they lost. The Arthur wasn't unknown, so they need something. You know, the, the unknown players need something, y'all. There's no way I wasted that much anvils. Two thousand anvils on three pieces of gear is crazy. Three pieces of gear is crazy for for that many anvils. Um, let's see this, this, um, this, and that. The King of Vampires, I think? Okay. Uh, she's gonna have a basic stat that gives Vampire Race 50% basic stat and she ends up being the only Vampire? That would be kinda crazy. Um, they don't wanna make uh, another unit like Sigurd, Human slash Demon that will work with both teams, true. Um, he, honestly, Gelda makes the most sense to be a Demon slash Unknown more, like, unit that works with both, guys. She makes more sense than Arthur, honestly. <laughs> She makes more sense than what Arthur did, I'm not gonna lie. Um, is that 0%? I don't know. I'm gonna have to stall. Um, let's do this and this for now. And we'll let end turn. And this is done, right? Okay, that was 230 anvils, not bad. And then these last bits, we're gonna have to reroll four. Why is that 2.6 though? What? 2.8. Or 2.7, I mean. I think she'll be a helper for demons because the vampires used to live in the demon world or she uh, will be an unknown and my theory should be thrown in the deep sea. I see. <laughs> Amazing, do you think giants will ever get a character that will make them relevant? Uh, a relevant team? Um, honestly, it's kind of tough with giants, man. They don't really have many character picks they could get. Um, but if they were to get a character, um, maybe the movie giant, I forget his name, Dahlia, I think. Or is that is that the fairy king? I forget. It's Dahlia and... And uh, another character, I forget their names though, but they could be um, uh, for the giant race. Uh, who else? Maybe Dan's kids, right? Dan's kids in Forkoa, because they did get revealed in Forkoa, so it's possible they are uh, Dubs. Dubs, okay. Yeah, Dahlia was the fairy king, so Dubs is the uh, yeah. Dahlia was our second fairy king. Which, by the way, where's our second movie units? I agree. Where are the movie units? They, they should do a celebration for the movie units, that would be cool. Give us the story uh, for the movie, and then uh, introduce the characters. That would be cool. I uh, definitely think that could be something they could do, for sure. Um, yeah, I, I'm not opposed to that. I think that would be dope. How do you have so many of those blue crystals used for uh, upgrading gear amazing? Well, what I like to do every time I, uh, I salvage gear is uh, whenever I salvage gear rag, I'll level it up by plus one and then I'll salvage it, or I'll level it up plus 5 and then salvage it. Now the differences between those two is like, plus 1 will only give you more enhanced stones, right, the red stones, so it'll give you more of those, but if you plus 5 the gear, it'll actually give you more blue stones, the awakening stones. So if you want more awakening stones, plus 5 your SSR gear before you salvage it, and you'll get a lot more in, uh, in return. The only thing is the, the amount of gold you spend though. Gold is going to be a little bit of a problem, but again, you can just farm it though, right, so nothing too crazy. Alrighty, let's do this, this, um, this, and then buff strip. As long as we do double damage cap here, we're good. Okay, we're good. 
Because Liz, I know, does enough damage from that range. No way she doesn't. Elizabeth, thank you. <laughs> I was about to say. Can't one-turn it. Alright, there we guys go. Uh, we are done. Let's engrave this gear. Uh, since I Oh, I have enough too. Look at that. Look at that. Perfect. It's like I was. I knew I was going to make Roxy gear or something. <laughs> I didn't know though. I just saw her. She had no gear. And I was like, I got to make her gear if I'm going to do uh, Squad Hottie. Okay, let's uh, finish this gear then. And it also is 50% uh, gold this time doing it, which is nice. 250k gold per gear, uh, gear piece is nice. Alright, there we guys go, man. Um... Do I have enough for this? Oh wait, let me reset this and do all the food first. And then we'll do that. There we go. If you had your own uh, team with any 70s character in the game or not, what would it be? Uh, with any 70s character in the game? Uh, and I could pick and choose? Um, I guess probably like a Molascula team, no? Like... Or like, I mean, humans right now are very, very fun too. I gotta give, I gotta give them that. I'm gonna rock uh, SSR outfit for Roxy too. To catch the other. Yeah, no, I'm gonna do this. Um, do you remember uh, to re review my account? Yeah, Kyo Taka. Um, guys, if you have a Turtle Sim membership, please remind me because it's on you guys to message me and be like, amazing. Um, I have Eternal Sim, and I'd like to get an account review, right? Because that's that's part of it, right? Because um, I'm not going to remember every single person that has Eternal Sim. You guys got to message me, man. So um, whenever you get the chance, uh, DM me on Discord, and uh, I'll definitely get to recording your account review, man. Uh, for sure. Uh, yeah, let me put my triple defense gear set. Is Chaos Arthur worth it? Oh, yeah. For sure. For sure he's worth it. For sure he's worth it. He's so good. Alright, let's hop in. Uh, let me just uh, swap this gear. Yeah. Never got my account review, Sag. Panzo, you're an amazing sim member, bro. You're not an eternal sim member. You know, you gotta level up the membership if you want an account review. Um, so yeah, man. Right, let's give... Uh, do I not have attack Merlin gear? It's my free-to-play account, I don't. I just take that. Alrighty, does everyone else have their gear? Alright, good to go. Why triple defense on Chaos Arthur and not HP defense? Because I want him to get targeted the turn one where he wouldn't be, right? Uh, Luke, if I was to run HP defense on Arthur, he doesn't taunt turn one, he taunts turn two if I uh, use four skills, right? Benzo, thank you for this one. So that turn one, Donar might get cooked, right? She might get attacked three times and then get take too much damage and she doesn't have Tarmiel Link. So she would take too much damage, right? Triple defense makes it so that he's the lowest HP and that he will get targeted off the rip. So that's why I rock that, personally. Okay, let's uh, stance remove. And then uh, we'll just attack. But we're full HP, so it's nothing too crazy. But yeah, Luke, I'm thinking about the first turn where I take damage, right? I want to obviously make sure that Arthur's taking the damage, not Donar. Even though Arthur does scale off HP and he does do more damage because of it, um, we would rather have him take damage versus, like, Donar, though, right? Um, of the two characters. Yo! Bamboo! Yo, thank you for becoming an Eternal Sim, man. Bamboo, message me on Discord, bro. And I will get you an account review, man. Thank you so much for becoming an Eternal Sim and supporting the channel. Um, you also have access to my uh, very special emotes in the chat. And if you want to roll in Discord, uh, make sure to hit up the mods and you can get one. Um, okay, let's do... It's this, this, this. Many sound effects? Oh, yeah. See, I got the anime wow for you. There you go. Anime wow for you, man. Alright, let's do... Here, I'll do... This, 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 and then that. I'm thinking unknown that busts demons similar to Tristan and maybe something for Zeldris that makes more of a possible movie or for for Koa Zeldris. True, 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 true. I definitely agree. <laughs> I appreciate you, Bombo. Alrighty, let's do this. Let's do this, this, and I will cleanse like that. That's kind of funny, yes sir. 
I only do the anime wow for people that uh, become members, man. So if you become a member, then I'll give you an anime wow uh, on my soundboard. Because <laughs> I have that. I have to add more uh, things on my soundboard, though, for sure. But uh, I think that those ones are pretty funny, though. So um, Let's do this. Let's do that. That. And then Arthur single target to finish it off. There we go. L? Wow. Tato, man. What's going on? Uh, okay, there we go. We got the kill with Thonar. Nice, nice, nice. And then on this side, we do double alt. This. And... I'm gonna do that. Next turn, we will uh, we'll be fine. And then on this turn, we uh, alt with pretty much everybody, right? I think uh, that's probably fine. Um, so we'll do this. This. This and then I'll do that, I think is okay. Amazing, do you know why I can't join the membership on my phone? Uh I'm not too sure, Bardock. It might be like a different setting you have to do. Uh, but I'm honestly not too sure, man. Um because I I don't know how to do it from uh phone, but it should say like a join button on the bottom. And then uh, with that you'd be able to do it though, right? Um okay on uh Nidhogg, we're okay. Uh let's do Oh no, let me cleanse the debuff so we heal. Then we'll do this. Um, we'll do this, and we'll do that. And I should be good to go. And on this side, we do uh, this. We do with that, we do with that, and we do a that. And I think that's killing everybody. There we go. Ikimasa. How are you able to run two different accounts? Is it two uh, or two different screens? Is it two different accounts? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It is two different accounts. Uh, because I see it for other YouTube channels, but you're the only one I can't join. Really? Uh, Barog might maybe try from a from a laptop, maybe uh, or some or another device. I don't know why I would say uh, for me you wouldn't be able to do it though. That's that's a little different. Uh, for sure, I've never seen that. Uh, you've been messaged on Discord. Thank you, Bamboo. I will get back to you after the stream, man. Appreciate you. Alright, there we go. Asking our goes burnout with all that human support. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, he's cooking. Y'all hear Mile cooking right now. He just beat uh, Nidhogg. Alright, let's do... Let's do this, 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 and that. Same account, Amazing just has broken the game doing two Demonic Beast fights at the same time. No, it's just, uh, it's just, uh, across, uh, one, uh, two different accounts, right? That's all, that's all it is. Yo, no crits from Thonar? Damn. Uh, I don't remember my password for this YouTube account? Dang, man. Uh, unfortunate, then. I don't know how, uh, how else to help, then, Bamboo. Alright, there we go. Yeah, see, see how he's targeting Arthur, even though technically Arthur has more HP than Thonar right now. You know? Um, so there's that. You look high right now, or are you high? No, I'm, uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe I look high, but no, no, I'm, uh, completely sober, man. Alright, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do that. And I'll, uh, and I'll probably do, I feel like this single target for Roxy is safe. I feel like that, that is safe. This is just how I am. That is true. Uh, this is how I am. So where is that? He's high on life. Yes, sir. He's high on life. Bop. Get damage. I could have probably ripped the AoE there. That would have been fine. But uh, we're good. Alright, let's see. Um, okay, so we get the uh, Arthur proc. Um, we can just do ultimate. You know what I'm going to do, actually? I'm gonna do this. Let's do this. This. And I think that, if not kills, is like very close to killing. Cause I wanna save. Hmm, actually, maybe I, I rip Roxy all now. Maybe I rip Roxy all now. I feel like Arthur and Escanor, I wanna keep their ults. I feel like they're gonna be really strong. I'm gonna do this. Then this. Yeah, maybe I'm just sleepy, guys. I do, uh, you know, I'm late night amazing when I record videos. I record them super late, so that could be another reason why as well. But, uh, yeah, man. Bop. There we go. Uh, okay. 
<laughs> yeah, I know, guys. I'm not a, I'm not a smoker or anything like that, man. So, um, okay, let's do this, this, um, this, and that. I think that's killing. I think, but I'm, I mean, we'll see. That's damage cap. Damage cap. How much does that do? Wow, Arthur is so good, bro. It's crazy. It is crazy. Look how fast that is, bro. Uh, you prefer this human team to the DK Melianus team for dogs? Uh, I think it's fun. I think it's fun, you know. Um, it's also about having fun with teams, and uh, I think this is definitely a fun team uh, to run for sure. Um, okay, let's do single target with Arthur there. Let's do... I'll do Thonar attacks, and then Ascanar. Bop. Look at that. Big damage right there. Uh, yeah, you just sleepy. I think it's okay to get some rest oh, sometimes, my man. You've been helping us a lot, bro. I know, I know. I got you guys, though. I got you guys covered. Oh, he lived! I might have sold the bag right there, y'all. I might have sold the bag right there. Uh, <laughs> let's see. I, actually, I could heal up Roxy then. Actually, this is good. Because I could heal up Roxy on this turn. Um, yeah, no, that actually works out for me. I'll do AoE Arthur. That's not going to kill. And then we'll do Roxy AoE single target. And we should be good. Or actually, no, I'm not going to AoE with Arthur. I'm going to attack with Thonar. Because then she'll life steal a little bit. And then we'll do this. Because I want to make sure that Thonar has higher HP than Arthur, obviously, right? So we have to make sure we do that. So let's do that. Uh, who do you think becomes the uh, new LR either this week or next? I'm honestly not too sure about that. Um, we'll have to see who the next LR is going to be. But uh, um, maybe maybe a giant, you know? Maybe a giant. Maybe. Because I feel like if they do a human one just to like solidify humans as number one, I feel like that's a little crazy. I feel like they shouldn't do that yet. LR Droll? Maybe. Alright, uh, and let me claim my rewards on this. Alright, chat, give me a sec. I'm gonna check up on my dog real quick. Because, uh, my door is open. I don't know if he ran out. So, give me a sec, y'all. Alrighty, guys, we are good to go. Perk bomb, perk bomb, perk bomb, perk bomb, perk bomb, perk bomb. Maybe, maybe. LR Derriere? Could be cool. LR Malasila, yo? Come on. You know, LR Malasila would be fire. If they ever announce that, it's over. It's over, yo. It's over. That's gonna be my unit right there. LR Malasila will be my unit the moment they, they announce that. Uh, LR Derriere would be crazy, though. Um, LR Purgatory Bond would be insane. You know, that would be, uh, the new bond you run on humans for sure. Um, yeah, I know. It, it would be kind of crazy. LR Red Velocity, though, I think would be insane, though, guys. I think that would be pretty insane. She might be a little toxic, though. That's the only thing. I don't know how, how they would make her, her kit, like, even better than it is, you know? Yo, maybe she gives revive? Um... Maybe she gives her revive to everybody but her, and it can be multiple people. That would be broken. Uh, that would be kind of broken. That would be kind of broken, right? Uh, okay, let's do this, 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 and that. And switch back over to this side. Oh, wait. I'm not going to do that then. Let's do this. Um... I'll get Lizzo, I guess. Okay. Um, let's see. Arthur, does he get cooked? Oh, it's attacking Escanor! Wait! No, Escanor's the lowest HP. I might be dead. I might be dead. I might be dead. Oh my gosh. Guys, that is why. That is why we always run triple defense Arthur. Because if he's not taunting... If he is not taunting... Look what can happen, man. It is dangerous as hell if he is not taunting. Um, let's do AoE Arthur, then single target. I think that does kill, though. That is pretty crazy. Okay, um, switch back to this. Let's do that. 
Let's do that, this, and that. I think it's good. Boom. He is za one. Yes, sir. All right, let's do um, single target Arthur. Actually, let me all with Arthur. Let me all with Ascanor. Then I'm gonna all with Arthur. Then I'm gonna. Then I'm gonna single target Arthur, and then I'm gonna waste Roxy card so I get her ultimate. Cause I think her debuff cleanses as we finish the fight, right? I think that's how that works. Oh my oh. Bop. Yeah, and then we get the gauge. Look at that, bro. That's smart. That's smart. Look at that. Now they can't freeze Roxy. They can't freeze Stonar. They can freeze Arthur. They don't freeze Arthur. Okay. That works out. Let's do this. Let's do that. Let's do this. And let's do that. And just like that, that guy is dead as hell. We can look away. Alright, back onto this side. Let's do this. Actually, no. Let me all with my L. Then we'll do that. Then we'll do this. Then we'll do that. And look at that guy is dead, guys. Look at that. This team is so good, bro. This team is really good. If I'm doing this on my free-to-play account, too... Damn, man. This team is crazy. We even survived, even though Ascanor was the lowest HP there. That was a little dangerous, though. I can't lie. That was a little bit dangerous. But, uh, you know, that's what's going to happen sometimes, you know? That's what you got to do sometimes. All right, let's do that. Uh, I'm convinced Freya just hates uh, I pulled, but she refuses to crit. That that can be the, the case sometimes, for sure. Um, hey, Mason, what's up? I want to know, uh, is it easy to LRA character as a free-to-play player? It definitely is, especially with how they give them out now, man. Um, they got 50 right now LR coins in the Labyrinth shop right now. They have 10 on the... Well, actually, they gave 30 out on, on the login. Like, they literally gave out 30 if you go to your inbox. You still haven't claimed it. They still have 30 available. I haven't even claimed it yet. But uh, that is a thing as well. And then um, they did give... They're giving another 30 from the event bosses that are going on right now. You get 10 per boss. So you will have enough for an LR just by doing that. I mean, you get 100, guys. Cal look. You get 50 from Labyrinth, you get 30 from Login, so you're at 80 already, and the event bosses give you another 30, so you would be at, you'd be at 110. You'd have an LR and a little bit extra, just from this update, just from this update alone. Bro, people don't think about that, man. People do not think about that. We literally, you can get 90 right now, yes, you can get 90 right now, but you'll get another 10 on reset tonight because of the, uh, the indigenous purgatory creature dropping. And there you go. You see, like that, that's crazy just to think about. Um, the fact that they uh that you're able to do that though, for sure, man. Um, really good update from Grand Cross, man. Other than like I will say, I do agree with people on this on the thing of that, like we didn't really get like a lot of content, sure. Um, but I think the update overall for what they gave though is good, man. It, it is a good update. Um, for sure. I have 238 coins right now. Uh Geo, I think I think what they let you do. Um, is if you have it so where you're like, let, okay, so I guess you were at 178 and then you claim the 30 from the inbox. That's why you're over the, the, the threshold, right? Um, or I don't know how you got, wait, how'd you get 238 though? Wait, that's, that's more than you should have though. Cause they won't let me claim. Look, chat, it won't let me claim. Cause I have max. See, it says I have max right now. Cause I have max LR. I can't even claim this. So this is going to stay in my inbox till the LR drops uh, tomorrow or I guess on, on the, on the release. Uh, let me see how long Labyrinth is out for, and then we'll know when the LR is dropping. Um, does it say the date? The 21st. Really? Wait, the Labyrinth till the 21st? We're not getting an LR next week then, y'all. We're getting an LR the week after. Right? Am I tripping? Wait, we're getting an LR... No, JP next week. JP next week, two weeks from now for Global. Then we're getting an LR, because this is till the 21st. Yeah, that's a good amount of time. Um, I had 190 before the box claim. Oh, okay, okay. That's pretty good then. All right, let's do that. Um, let's do this. Let's do that. Let's do... Oh, I have to... Uh... Oh, no. There's no sense. Let's do this. Uh, bro, got to 198 and claimed the MLR coins to go for even further beyond. Yes, sir. Amazing, I have LR Eskinor, but I'm planning to make LR Liz. Should I make her? 
LR Elizabeth. LR Elizabeth is worth uh, making though, for sure. I, I would recommend her because she is really, really good. Damn, the Abyss didn't kill. That's unfortunate. Bro, I have 28 Grotto Keys. Benet, you gotta get to work, man. You gotta get to work, bro. Um, let's see. Um, I think if I just AoE with my ally to kill, and I'll just waste all these dead cards here. There you go. Amazing, should I save my UR pendant for when I pull Arthur, or should I uh, LR Margaret? Um, I would say probably save it for Arthur. Arthur is going to be, uh, in my opinion, more worth than Margaret at this moment. Um, right? Okay, let's do this, let's do that, and then we'll waste this. There we go. Is it worth grinding Labyrinth for UR Cosmetics? Um, yeah, 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 I would definitely say so. Like, if you're missing those costumes for, like, Hell, uh, Transcendent Bond and all that, uh, definitely, definitely. Um, Arthur is him right now. He definitely is him right now. Huh, I'm, gl I'm glad people uh, did change their opinions on Arthur, man. I know initially people were like, yo, amazing. He's not that. He's not flashy. That's what it was. It's, th it's that he's not doing a million damage crit that people are like, oh, he's not that insane, you know? So, uh, yeah, no, I'm glad people did change their minds, though, about uh, Arthur because he is a good unit. And I'm glad people understand how good he is now. Um, yeah, man. Uh, what the F? Arthur makes bird hella fast. Might actually farm one relic now. Gumbo, I'm telling you, bro. Humans are the fastest. Humans are the new speedrun team for all demonic beasts, except Skull and Hadi and Nidhan. They're the speedrun team, so bird and deer, you speedrun with with humans now. You don't even need Jormungand or Megilda anymore, bro. That's how crazy humans are. That's what we've gotten to at this point. Humans are so strong that we speedrun the fights faster than using the main units. <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy. It is insane, guys. Uh, amazing, I did spin 300 gems and only got one SSR. It do be like that sometimes, Lem. It, it do be like that. But, uh, you know, that's how that's how the RNG might, might roll sometimes, man, unfortunately. But, uh, um, you should be good, though. You should be good. I mean, humans were bird and deer fastest teams before Arthur. Well, true, but now they're a lot more consistent with Arthur, though. Right? And also, they were the fastest... Uh, using, I guess, collab units. I guess now it's like, um, you can technically do it without for bird. I don't know about deer. Deer, you probably still need a collab uh, red unit. Because uh, bird, you can just run Transcendent Bond. Uh, that's what people told me. You can run Transcendent Bond instead of uh, Levi. Um, yeah, so. Yeah, like, other than that, though, I mean. Amen. Uh, humans are definitely uh, the new meta, for sure. And I feel like humans now are a lot more accessible than they used to be as well. That That's another thing too, is that they're way easier to get a human team built now than uh, back then. Because back then you needed Yuri, you needed uh, LR Eskinor or Ultimate Eskinor, you needed Roxy with Relic. Like, um, now it's like if you just have Arthur, you probably don't even need Roxy Relic. You could probably do it without, um, just because damage cap is pretty easy to hit, right? Um, yeah, no, like, they, bro, it's insane. It really is. Um, what's your favorite human team? My favorite human team? Um, probably the LR Alcanor variant. Probably. Um, don't know about Transcendent Monk because the debuffs won't work. But he's still, like, sing he has a he's double single target. That's why, Rosé. Like, people say, like, he works because he's double single target just to crit from Roxy. And that and that's fine, right? And that for Bird, it's definitely fine. You just don't attack with Bond on that final phase of Floor 1. Right? You would attack with, like... Alor Askinor and Roxy, right? Th those are gonna be your main damage dealers there. Um, yeah. But Bond would just be like to waste cards off the rip, like kinda like the way I use Levi. Um, that's that's why you'd use him, right? And you'd probably uh the, the Pierce card would probably do a lot more than this than the snipe card. Because there's gonna be no debuffs on the boss, right? So yeah. That is gonna be the way to go. Yo, amazing. Why does Nidog attack my Margaret so much, bro? I can't be floor 3 because of that. It don't hit Tarmiel even though he has the lowest HP. Um, the question is, how much low HP does he have versus all the other characters? Because look at my team right here, right? 
Um, 219 khp versus 250 249 247 so i'm about 30k hp difference between my lowest hp and my other characters so you want to make sure that he is the lowest uh by far the tarmiel tarmiel link or tarmiel character you're running right you always want to make sure by a good margin too because if the character doesn't heal up enough um and then another character gets targeted that that could happen and could mess up your run so yeah just bear that in mind man you have to have like a good margin of HP. That's why I like to run triple defense with the R uh, rune as well for recovery rate. That helps it a lot. Also heard apparently the free banner with the ticket is bugged on the last stop. It is guys, it is. So um, we will be getting a, uh, a, a free, maybe compensated character, right? Maybe. Uh, maybe they'll compensate it and make it so that we can select the character now. Um, that'd be great because, uh, you know. I already did my summon on my free-to-play account, and I did not get to pick a character, so... Um, yeah, man. Uh, can't you just run Brunhild instead? Uh, well, she has one AoE, right? She has one AoE, um, right? Well, I guess it's for Bird, then yeah, you could run Brunhild. No, I was thinking Deer. For for Bird, uh, for sure. You could definitely run Brunhild, for sure. Um, okay, let's see what else we got going on, guys. Labyrinth, I'm done, I think, right? I think I'm done Labyrinth, let's see. Yeah, no, I'm definitely done Labyrinth. No way I'm not. Um, the rest of these, I mean, the cosmetic upgrades are not bad. I mean, I might as well get all of them, huh? I might as well chat. Like, this is free cosmetic materials. So I might actually, like, grind all of this out, actually. I might do that. Maybe we keep grinding Labyrinth just for this. Cause I mean, hey, even though I own all the outfits already, this cosmetic material I'm collecting, I mean, that's not bad. Seven per each. So you got, uh, what is that? 21 per, uh, per, uh, slot? That's not bad. Right? That's actually not bad. Um, okay, we can grind Labyrinth a little bit more then. I, I didn't think it was actually worth doing, but hey, 21 for each is not bad. That's almost a, a full um, thing. Almost a full uh, level up. Uh, we can go to the depths now. This team is fine. This team is definitely fine. Uh, amazing, if you don't mind me asking, what is your workout routine? So, it depends on the day. But uh, I'll either do like push or pull and then legs. That, that's what I do. Um, so I guess today when I go after after my live stream, I'll probably do... Because I think I did... I think Friday I did pull. Wait, no, no, no. Friday I did push. So I'll probably do legs today or I'll do uh, pull. Yeah. It's either of those two. But pretty much pull is like all the pulling ones. So like usually for your biceps... Push is usually for, like, your tries and, like, you know, all of that. Um, yeah, no. Um, usually, it just depends on the day. Sometimes I, like, feel like doing, like, legs or, you know, maybe I'm like, oh, you know, I'll do, um, you know, I'll do, uh, I'll do another pull day. Maybe I'm crazy, you know? But I usually I alternate, though. Usually I alternate. Like, I'll do, like, push-pull and then I'll do leg maybe once or twice a week. Um, yeah. That's usually what I do in terms of the workout routine. I'll be going again today, man. Um, I'll be definitely going back to the gym today. Um, yeah. Uh, look at Discord if uh, if you can. I sent you a screenshot of their health. Oh, okay. So you're talking to, uh, of their health. Oh, wait. Are you talking to me, Banan? Oh, you are. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, 190. Oh, wait. What is that? 150? Wait, that's really low HP, Banan. Maybe that's too low, bro. Um, yeah, I don't know. That seems a little low, bro. Um, yeah, no. I would say what you should do, move Tarmiel far left. I don't know if that's a preference thing of, of mine or whatever, but, like, I run that. Um, but, yeah, no. Like, you should not be getting targeted, though. That's a little weird. That is a little weird. Um, look at another buff. Uh, back and biceps, chest and triceps, and then legs on a separate day is what I do. Nice, nice. I mean, that's definitely good, too. Um, amazing, I don't have Megelda. What team should I use for the bird? Guess what? You know, uh, Lem, the new fastest team doesn't need Megelda. So you'd run, uh, obviously, the new Arthur. You run uh, LR Escanor or Ultimate Escanor, your choice. And then uh, Blue Roxy, preferably with Relic. If not, it's fine. And then your final character would be... Um, either Transcendent Bond, Green Brunhild, right, you have a few options, but, uh, yeah, I mean, um, that team is actually faster than, uh, running even with, uh, Thing Man, so, definitely do that. 
Nice. Monday and Friday I do arms. Tuesday, Thursday I do chest, and then Wednesday I do legs. I don't like legs. I agree, but you can't you can't you can't skip leg day though. You cannot skip leg day. You gotta do it. You know, then you're gonna be like you know ripped up here, and then your legs are gonna look like <laughs> your legs are gonna look like a twig, bro. So you gotta make sure you do leg day uh, as well. Is Blue Roxy free to get or do I have to wait for an event? She is not free, unfortunately, Luke. It took me about a year to get her. Almost, actually, it was about a year. Because um, I think uh, she came on in April of last year. And then, uh, yeah, no, this year I got her on Global Annie. So almost a year, almost a year, about nine, ten months, right? Actually, no, if it's, if it's in April, it's 11 months, almost a year, literally. So there you go, man. Um, yeah. I'll be standing on to toothpicks without doing legs. No, I, I always like to do legs every once in a while too. Um, Bardock be skipping back. I think for me, back, uh, I'll usually do with like... Well, like, okay, I guess it depends, right? Because back also comes with push or pull, so it just depends on the day. Right, like, I think uh, some some of my, like, back is worked out doing by, by doing push or pull. Um, I forgot what the, like, machine is called, but, like, there, there are a few machines. Um, where it's like, you'll, like... Well, I know the one where you like pull down. I forgot what that one's called. It's like the lateral pull down or something like that. But that one does your back and also your biceps a little bit. I do that one on pull day. I do... There's a few others too, guys. But I don't know the exact names for all the machines. Uh, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, I was about to say. I, I think I get back through like doing my pull, my pull day. So, um, yeah. Lateral pull downs. There you go. That's what it's called. You see, look at that, guys. See, look at that. <laughs> just tired no that's fair that's fair um what i like to do as well um it's like every time i'm done my workout i'll do like 30 minutes on the treadmill and i'll just walk i won't i won't even do like you know heavy running or anything like that i'll just do i'll just do like uh like an incline walk for like 30 minutes i'll put on youtube and i'll do that after i'm done all my like my weight workouts and all that um, I, I think I watched a video explaining like doing that last is the best thing to do versus doing it at the beginning Because I used to do it before all my workouts, but now I do it right as I'm about to leave I'll do like the 30 minutes on the treadmill. I'll watch some YouTube while I'm uh, walking on the treadmill and then uh, I'll, uh, I'll go home. So uh, Yeah, man uh, When you said Brunhild uh, is a good option for bird you mean the green one or the red one the green one green one for sure the green one for sure I think for me right now, chat, it's it's not even like the gym that's my problem. I need to get my diet back, bro. That's my main issue. Because obviously, you can work out like a ton at the gym. But you just got to like ma make your diet like good enough, you know. So I got to eat a lot better. I don't, I don't, I'm, I'm going to be honest, I don't really eat that great. So I got to, I got to definitely change the, the diet a little bit. Um, I mean, I try to be healthy when I can. But I'll, I, pr I feel like I do not eat like that healthy food though. So I definitely got to change up the diet a little bit. I think that's probably the most important thing. Um, other than obviously uh, me going to the gym or not. Yeah, diet and consistency is the most important. Yeah, for sure. Like that that really is it. Um, for sure. So yeah, we'll, we'll see, man. But uh, yeah, I do, I do go to the gym pretty often though. Like I'll, I'll maybe miss like one day a week, one or two days a week. But, like, that's at the most. Like, usually I'll go, like, every day. Um, I think Sacred Treasure Podcast Day, sometimes I like to take that day off. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I'll, I'll do the podcast in the morning, and I'm like, okay, let me relax today, y'all. <laughs> like, I might do that, because that's, like, the only day during the week where I'm just, I can actually chill out. Because I know Mondays, uh, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, I stream. And then the weekends as well, too. The weekends I do get to relax. But, uh, yeah. That is part of it as well. <laughs> piles grease into mouth what is this diet you speak of for real man i mean like i'm not gonna like i don't go out to buy like you know like like fast food though like i just mean i eat unhealthy at home that's what i mean i don't buy like fast food or anything it's just like obviously you know you still gotta have like a, a good diet too so yeah man i'll have to uh fix up the diet a little bit that's that's my pro problem right now personally it's sticking to a diet i i had a diet last year too and like it was really good it was like kind of keto like it was like very low carb i had that diet last year it was working really well for me um so i gotta get back into that probably i think i'll probably do that um yeah not just double the workout 
But you also remember, you also gotta let your body rest too, man. You can't like, you can't always just like full, you know, workout, 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 because you gotta have your body rest. That's the that's the part where your body actually benefits from a workout is the resting part, right? So you gotta get a lot a lot of rest in. Um, that also might be my problem too, is my sleep. That also might be the issue too, y'all. Um, sleep could also be a problem in my in my uh, workout routine as well, unfortunately. Um, because if you do, if you have a bad sleep schedule too, I know that does mess it up a little bit. Uh, a straight chicken and rice lost a bunch of weight doing that while going to the gym. Nice, nice. I mean, that's I think I think uh, another like part of a diet too is just being like like eating a few things and that's it. Because if you only eat like a few things, then your body's gonna get like acclimated to that. And then I think because of that, when you're like working in the gym, I think you'll be able to lose a lot, um, a lot easier, you know. So uh, that could definitely be uh, pretty good. Yeah, yeah. I'm definitely gonna like uh, fix up my diet, uh, like as of late. I definitely gotta do it, you know. Um, yeah, because that's probably like the only thing hindering my gym experience. It's just my diet. Because other than that, I'm fine. I I work hard in the gym. It's just uh, yeah, man. Like, food is very important. Sleep is very important, too. So, I gotta get my sleep. Amazing gotta sleep. You know, a little bit extra. Um, yeah, man. Those are definitely part of it, for sure. So, um, yeah. I just got Arthur the 95 maxed out his equipment and his elf is just so I can beat up the bird. Let's go, man. The bird is gonna get a beating. That's for sure. The bird is definitely gonna get a beating. I just go in the time chamber for five minutes. The hyperbolic time chamber? Get me in there for a year, bro. I'll come out looking chiseled. <laughs> Good for you, man. At least you're out here hustling and grinding. Yes, sir. Got you, man. Got you. I, I don't know, Chad. Like, I feel like, you know, I feel like me just staying at home and not really doing nothing is like, it's just obviously not good. You know, I, I have to go out. I have to go out, you know, go to the gym, you know, get a workout in. Because, like, it just feels like, it feels so good coming back from the gym. Because you're so tired, but like, yo, I just need a relax type type beat. <laughs> like, I, I love coming back from the gym. I think going to the gym and doing the workout is fine. But when I'm coming back, is like, that's the best part for me. It's like, damn, I'm sore as hell, but like, let me relax and I'm chilling. You know? That's probably the, the, the best part of the gym experience for me. It's coming home. Um, yeah. Uh, amazing. Uh... I, I have a uh, 5.5 million box CC good for someone who can only play three hours a week. Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, that's definitely very, very good. I uh, thought I could beat up the bird once. Then I decided to win and it one shot my whole team. Oh, did you not do the uh, the second phase floor two? Second phase floor two, you have to make sure you do the damage pass, um, the damage cap, or you're taunting up. You, you either have one of the two. Um, if you have either of the two, then you're fine uh, for sure. So that was definitely good. Give me one year in the time chamber and I'll go beat up this bird instead of Arthur. <laughs> nice. Um, yeah. Let's see. Boom. Wow, it one shot Freya. Uh, so green blood held good at attack crit uh, or HP defense. I would say attack crit. Um, yeah, yeah, I would say attack crit because uh, HP defense would mean you're running her to tank, which you want her for damage, right? That's the whole reason you're running her. Um, so yeah, no. Um, that's what I would say. Damn, I'm gonna need to get a revive then, guys. We did not get a revive there. Let's see. Okay, another fight. I have to fight with only three units. That's not looking too good. Um, I guess what we could do actually. Um, let me see here. Yeah, my PvP gems are on my main. We could do some PvP as well, guys. If you want to see some Arthur gameplay, we could do that as well. Um, I'm definitely down to, uh, to mess around with him. I haven't tested him out in geared yet, and I, I low key need to get my geared rank higher. Um. I actually need to get my geared rank higher because I have not really been grinding that. Uh, well, I mean, I don't really need to, guys. Oh my gosh. This is embarrassing, y'all. <laughs> Gold 5, amazing. Yikes. 
You know what though? The, I'll, I'll show you guys the reason why I'm gold five though. It's literally because I own everything in this shop, and the only thing I would maybe need is anvils, but I just don't feel the need to grind it out. Like, like do I need how many anvils is that? It's three hundred, right? Thirty times ten, yeah. It's three hundred for six thousand coins. Like that's low key not even worth, bro. Like three hundred anvils only. I might as well just do a a coin dungeon. You know what I mean? I feel like that's a waste. And the only thing I do buy is these. These are the only things I buy. These are not even worth it either. That, that's, that's a scam as well. So, nothing really here is worth it. Man avoids geared like a plague. I really do, man. It's it's not even like, if they add better rewards in geared, then maybe I have a reason to do it. You know what I mean? Like, give me a reason to do it. I think that's my main thing is I don't have a reason to do geared right now. I think Grand Cross definitely needs a way to entice people into doing geared PvP, man. That's definitely something they need to do. That's like that's like one critique I would give of PvP right now is that like people only really care about ungeared PvP. And that's only because of the fact that you get gems. Like if we didn't get gems and ungeared, no one's touching it. You know, unless unless uh you know maybe for like a daily or something. But you know. Yeah, may maybe they add gems in geared PvP, but make it a less amount. Maybe add like, you know, maybe you get 20 gems in Challenger and you get you know, 10 gems in in, cha uh, in champion, maybe, or something like that. I don't know. I don't know how they would, like, like you know, get the, the, the ranking stuff, but, like, I think they definitely could do it, though. For sure. I think that's definitely a thing they could do. For sure, man. How do you have 54k? I try to make 10k for the card, and now I have 2k? Well, Xanax, remember, I've been playing the game for four years, bro. I've been playing the game for a long time. So I'll just have mats in from from geared when I used to always be in challenger. I don't. I'm not in challenger anymore because I'm just like I'm lazy about it on geared. You know, I don't really play. Um, but we definitely could though and and mess around with Arthur. I haven't really tested him out in geared, but I heard obviously he is very good in it as well. Um, let's put. Uh, I want to try the Yuri variant. I don't know. Did they did they fix Yuri on global yet though? Um, I only buy the anvils each week. They're not worth it if you're not gonna add more things to the shop solo. No point stacking coins. I guess. I guess. I guess that's fair. I d I'm just like, you know, I don't really buy anything from it. Oh, Yuri does get fixed tonight. That's true. It would be after the reset. Yeah, so we'll rock uh, LR Asker then. And then uh, Bond. Let's get Bond on the team. And then my backline is Roxy, guys. The best backline for humans right now, in my opinion, is Red Roxy. Yes, sir. This red Roxy right here. If you guys have this red Roxy from the from the Christmas celebration, um, I know a lot of you guys don't have her, you know, because she was a limited character. That's true. But uh, if you do have her, she's very, very good. Um, have you ever done leg press? I have. I have. Um, I, I usually, like, sometimes I'll do leg press during leg day, but sometimes I'll just usually do, like, um, well, actually, no. I think I do it every time. I think I do leg press every time. It's the one where... The one I don't do every time, though, is where, like... Actually, I don't even know. No, because I think... Because I have, like, a like a plan. Here, child. Let me let me pull it up. I don't know if I can show you guys my plan real quick. Uh, I'll show you guys uh, my leg day, uh, my workout routine. <laughs> I have a little, like, uh, plan thing. Um, yeah, let me let me gear up the team real quick as well. And then uh, we'll hop in PvP, too. Um, and I'll just uh, put this on auto. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see this, but I'll show you. Me and Sora set this up. Uh, I don't know if y'all can read that, <laughs> but that's what I do. Those are my sets and all that. Literally until you die, bro. <laughs> Sora and I set this up. So if you guys can see whatever, like there's the amount of sets I do and the amount of reps I do. But those are all, all the things I usually do on my leg day. So I'll do like my, my, uh, my, uh, what's it called? I'll do like all these stuffs. Yeah. How much can you get on leg press? Um, I don't, I don't think I usually go for like super, super heavy weights, but uh, I could probably do like 150 to 200, probably. Like I think my legs are strong enough to do that, for sure. Um. Side note: F uh, demonic beast Akumu. Uh, hell def difficulty is a cheat. That is true as well. Literally until you die, bro. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's the way Sora put it when we were uh, making it. Okay, let's do this, this, and that. 
I, I don't usually do like the literally until I die part like I do it sometimes like I think when I started going to the gym I definitely did it but now I don't really do it as much for sure it's just like I I think now I've kind of kind of like like acclimated to the to the strength yo you know um yeah let me give uh HP to Roxy and then I got Leg press is crazy. When I was basically living in the gym, I was doing 1k pounds on the leg press for reps. That is crazy. Yeah, 1k reps is crazy. Um, yeah, no. I, I could definitely do, like, a really heavy amount. But you would have to, like, like someone might have to watch me just in case, bro. Someone gotta spot me, you know, if I'm gonna be doing that. Because <laughs> uh, it might be a little too crazy. Uh, let's do this. You gotta push yourself. I can already do 300 on leg press. That shows I don't I don't skip leg day. W W. Yeah, I I forget the weights to be honest for leg day. Um, I'm not gonna lie. I think I think my my best is probably is around like 300 though. Yeah, but I can easily do like 150, 200 with like multiple reps. Um, what do you get from the training grotto? Is it important? You get you are engraving stones. You definitely want to do it. Uh, engraving stones. It is. Uh, let me put a time your link on uh, Arthur there and then I'll put my L link on Bon. Welcome back Bamboo. What's up? What's up? What's up? Hope you're doing well. Uh pounds, pounds, uh Slurpix. Definitely pounds. 300 kg is crazy. Uh okay, let's hop in though. Yo, I'm going to face some guy in gold 5 with 420 k CC and he's going to be like, "Yo, excuse me?" <laughs> He's gonna be like, what? <laughs> Yo, this match is gonna be crazy. I, if, if I face a real player, they're gonna be like, excuse me, why are you in gold 5? And I'll be like, I don't know why I'm in gold 5. <laughs> Poor dude. How much CC did he have? I didn't even see. Um... Yeah, no, this is, this, this is, not, I don't know if this is even a real player or not, yo. This is a bot, this is a bot, okay. I'm gonna have to put on, um, what's the food? The, uh, the chalice food for, uh, for rank ups. It was 218? 218? Or 289? Damn, that guy was getting cooked then. He did not have a lot, did he? Alright, let me, uh, switch back here. Um, okay, yeah, so we would get our time. Yeah, I I'm gonna put on the uh, the uh, the not it's not it's not hourglass. It's uh chalice food the chalices or whatever Or like the wine food. That's what they call it. wine food. There you go Yeah, I'll put wine food back on and then uh, we'll we'll get a bunch of like ranks doing that That's probably my safest bet right, Let's see um, I'll do aoe single target single target are they all dead from the AOE? Boom, boom. Look at that. That's so crazy. Arthur is so insane, man. Oh, my oh. Bop. See, like, that's not, like, super flashy. Like, 500k is nice, but, but like, I know Meliodas does, like, a billion damage, bro. You know, like, that... He does, like... Demon King Meli does, like, a billion damage, and it's just casual, bro. You know what I mean? 282. Can confirm. Haha. <laughs> nice, nice. Uh, okay, let's keep it going. So I got this. You know what I could do, actually, chat? You know what I might do? Here, you know what I'll do? I'll uh, do the dual screen setup, y'all. Let me uh, let me turn off my display real quick. Uh, and let me set up the dual screen setup then. So we can just have both games open. Since I'm going to be playing PvP on my main, I'll push up in the geared section. Why not? You know, I have, I have not actually done it, so I might as well, right? Might as well. Uh, okay, let's... Uh, Open all the uh, versions up. My bad for all the uh, Windows noises, y'all. Uh, give me one second and we should be good to go. Uh, hey, amazing. My summer dand is now 6 out of 6. W. Dual window. Oh my god. Yes, sir. Dual se dual screen setup from your boy. I love the dual screen setup. That, that is a lot of fun. I think, um, I think that's probably like the most like innovative thing I've done Grand Cross-wise. Like, that, that might be it, y'all. Like, who else does dual screen setups? No, no, that's me for the for the Windows noises, y'all. <laughs> that's me. Don't mind me. Um, okay. Let's switch over to dual stream. Now, the question is, is left JP 
Yeah, left is JP. Okay, so let's put this on the left. I'll put that on the right. There we go, guys. Yeah, both versions open. That's how we do it. <laughs> if you don't mind me asking, how much do you bench press? Um, I don't really do bench pressing often, personally, but uh, yeah, no, probably like probably like 150 to 200 as well. I I don't know the exact amount. I haven't done bench pressing like uh a ton since like since like high school, man. I usually just do like you know like uh like pull ups and like and like reps like uh, doing like my just my arm. But well, I usually don't do like bench press that that much, uh, personally though. Uh, cause yeah, like if I was to do bench press, I need someone to spot me as well. You know, I don't have. I usually like I don't like asking just like random people at the gym to spot me. But um, yeah. Okay, let's do. Yeah, so we're in PvP and then Ron. Uh, oh, sick. Ron Labyrinth on the side. W mommy Raiden there, yes sir. Raiden Shogun is the background, y'all. Alrighty, hopping in. Put the CC food on. Oh no, the uh, the wine food. It's time, y'all. We're about to get into champion, challenger, all that. <laughs> I don't know if we're gonna make the comeback. We'll see. I saw a video saying it's PvP uh, is unplayable because of Chaos Arthur, and my guy was running transcendent bond in the back line. Like, like why though? <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. I've never seen transcendent bond back line. Maybe that's smart. The moment he comes out, you get 15% HP. Maybe, maybe. 270 down that is crazy how much cc i have man um let's merge this and then we'll go for the kill on uh my elder amazing's enemies are about to be cooked <laughs> damn if only i lived in canada i'd help you out i appreciate it bardock okay let's do this 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 and uh yeah we'll alt Uh, did you know that the free banner is a uh, bug? Step 10 is a pickup, but when you summon, you can't select the unit you want. Yes, yes. So they'll probably be compensating the people that already did it, right? Um, or maybe they just give everyone, like, a selector to select one of the units from the banner. Like, maybe. I don't know. I don't know what they'll do. Um, we'll have to see. Let's just do that, though. Uh, bro, you confuse me so much. Oh my god, no, that, that was definitely my PC, bro. That was definitely my PC. What's the replacement for Red Roxy, though? Honestly, man, on human team right now, I don't even like, I can't even think of like who would replace the human. Like, if you're running LRS, right? Because you need a human backline, so maybe Green Easton, like the Awakened Green Easton, the Halloween one, maybe, um, who would be like another character you could run. Could be like another character. I don't even know. Um, maybe Jenna for 12% attack related, right? You know, if you're running like... Maybe if you're running like Yuri, Elder Escanor, and Arthur, you could run a uh, Ragnarok Bond backline too. That could be another uh, setup you could do as well. Let's do this, this, and then that. And then, uh, yeah, we should be good to go though. All right, let's see. Uh, if I don't have her, then should I just run Yuri and Zeldris in the back? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you could. Yeah, if Yuri comes out, you know, she gives the basic stats the moment she comes out. So she's not a bad character to run. Like, at all, actually. Um, my Roxy is 4 to 6, but only level 60. You can still run her. You can still run her. For sure, though. You could definitely still run her, man. Goddess Liz Shield? You know, if Arthur cleansed the whole team like Melly did, he would be so much better, bro. He would be, like, so insane if he did that. You know? Uh, but unfortunately, he doesn't do that. Uh, bus rip you. Bus rip you. And then that, I guess. Uh, gotta go amazing. My phone is going to die. I wish I could watch you on my PC, but I'm at school working out. Hey, Bardock, appreciate you coming through regardless, man. And, uh, we'll see you on the next stream, bro. Uh, don't, don't worry about me. Uh, I think I have human team on Labyrinth. Nice, Bombu. W. Human team on Labyrinth is great. Human team is really good. 
Yeah, Yuri and then Zeldris in the back is a good option too, though, I think. Like, if you're running Yuri instead of Ascanor, then you can run a uh, another race character backline. It's only when you run Ascanor that you have to run a human backline, right? Um, that's the only time, because uh, you need to make sure Ascanor's pass is working. I know some people run Red uh, Festival Zeldris anyway, but that's a mistake. That's definitely a mistake, y'all. Don't, don't do that. Because uh, then you're not getting... Uh, you're not getting LR Ascanor's uh, Eternal Flames on the enemy. Unless they don't use a skill, which, you know, that's not going to really... I mean, everyone's going to be attacking, you know? So it's not really something you're going to, like, bank on. No Arthur, sadly? Okay, I mean, you can still run humans without Arthur. The Squirrel of Demonic Beast Battle sounds hard. Um, he can change places in battle, and I bet no one will beat it. Uh, but I believe that you can beat it. I will, be, I will definitely beat it, trust me. Guys, I will do live streaming world's first clear. <laughs> like maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll do world's first global clear for uh for thing. Your bond looks like he never skips leg day. Definitely not. The guy's a marathon runner. Look at him. My bond's a marathon runner. Right, let's do this. Um. Yeah, let's just do this and merge that for the call of chaos. Squirrel Demonic Beast, yeah, so we're gonna be getting another Demonic Beast battle soon, guys. Um, they did announce that the, the Retosker, that's what they call them, the Squirrel Demonic Beast battle, is going to be next. So, uh, yeah, man, definitely, uh, definitely gonna be the next one you gotta worry about. But, uh, we'll definitely do, like, uh, if not a world's first, then, like, definitely we're gonna clear it, like, as quick as we can when it's out, guys. So we'll see what we're able to do. I don't know. If, I don't know if I'm gonna clickbait and call World's First Clear, but I'll call it, um, uh, you know, attempting to clear the new Demonic Beast battle. That's probably what I'll call it. Attempting to clear new Demonic Beast battle. Oh, clicked my uh, files right there. Did not mean to do all that. Uh, which team is better for Arthur? Is it Yuri team or LR Ascanor team? In my opinion, I would say it's Ascanor because he LTCs. And I think Ascanor can counter the Yuri team because um, he could just damage. He could just damage Yuri instantly, right? He could just instantly just go boom, double attack onto Yuri, and she could die turn one. So I think the Ascanor variant is a little bit better, but I think Yuri is still a good option, though. Um, ah, yes, Alvin the Rat speedrun? I see, I see. Alvin the Chipmunk speedrun, I guess. Yeah, what are they going to call him then? The Rat Demonic Beast Battle? The Rat? <laughs> the Rat Demonic Beast Battle? Oh my god. Hey, yo, Amazing. How's it going? Yo, Meli Rosa. What's up, man? Welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing well. Guys, this is a, a, an example of why you run Ascanor and not Yuri. Um, if you're running this variant. Because look at this. Ikimas Ma. Oh, well, actually, Yuri did live there. So there is that. Yuri actually did live there. I am running HP on Ascanor too. Um, so that, that is part of it, but, um, yeah, no. He's not taunting till next turn, though, regardless, right? World's first clear on the rat? I don't know what I'm gonna title it, but... We'll probably clickbait it, and I'll be, like, world's first attempts at, uh... I mean, that's not even clickbait, that's true. Like, I'm attempting, uh, world's first clear, you know? So, I guess that would be fair to put. The rat is disrespectful, not gonna lie. I agree, I agree. Let's go for the revive. And I'll alt R through here. We'll do AOE and then single target. See, like, that's easy. Instant. Instantly. W true clickbait. You see, it's not even wrong. It's true. So it wouldn't even be bad clickbait. You know, it's good. It's good and it's real. So I'm not clickbaiting it really. I mean, y'all would be watching it for me trying to clear it, right? So. Uh, I hope this new collab is going to be uh, Bofuri. I shall raise my defenses or fate. Uh, Fate, uh, Grand Order. I don't mind any collab, um, except Tower of God. It didn't make Grand Cross, uh, make money. Yeah, Grand Cross didn't really make too much on, uh, Tower of God. Right? Right? We go from getting, uh, the, the Demonic Beast Nidhogg to, like, a rat, bro? It's crazy. That is pretty funny. For sure, for sure. There we go. Damn, look at that, guys. We're getting some, you know, we're winning. We're getting up in the ranks right there. Uh, 
Um, I guess I could do ungeared as well, because I, I uh, have to push up back into champion one. I might face some whales too. You know, maybe we will do we will do uh, uh, what's it called? Um, ungeared real quick. And I'll do. Should I do? Uh, I'll do it. I'll do it. Why not? Why not? Well, maybe we'll go second. You know, we'll we'll do it. Screw it. Two thirty KCC is crazy though, with wine food. Like that that is kind of crazy. Um, I think my, my Sins team definitely out CCs it, though. But, uh, like, 230 is crazy natural, though. Let's see. Oh. You see? But 240, though, is a little bit better than me, though. Oh, he got True Awakened on his characters, too. I don't got any True Awakening yet, guys. I, I've not done True Awakening at all, uh, personally. Um, yeah, so you're just gonna do the, the move, move, double attack. And that's fair, right? That's definitely fair. Um... Damn, it was that that emerged, not the Pierce card. That's crazy. Okay. Um. Okay, that's fine. We do live. We do live. So that's pretty nice. Um. Okay, let's move this. And then let's do. Let me kill Roxy. I think I can kill Roxy with Escanor. I think I can. Escanor, come on, come on. There we go. Okay, that's that's nice. That's nice. He's gonna lose Gage now because I have Roxy backline. So his bond does not push an ultimate. Um, we now will have taunt on my Arthur next turn. I didn't go second though, guys. So it is obviously like a a, a hindrance to me. But uh, yeah, me going second is obviously like very tough. If I went first, I would have won. But that that is the con of running, uh, you know, wine food is that you have the chance of going second, right? That is obviously the problem with wine food right there. Um, let's see. Oh my oh, Bop. Okay, that's fine. And then... I tanked that, I tanked that. Yup, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Alrighty, guys. Um, I don't know how much damage this is gonna do. But, uh, this is all we can do. <laughs> this is all we can do. Okay, this second one should do a lot more, though. Because it's a rank 2 and I have... Oh my gosh, Roxy, where's the extra damage? I'm getting more debuffs on the enemy. We should have more HP. Damn, that's tough, guys. I think I might be dead. Um, I know I'm definitely dead. <laughs> this is what I get for running, uh, for running food like that. Um, okay, Tom, y'all link. Oh, I'm dead, though. I'm dead. Yeah, GG, man. That 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 is what happens though when you run wine food, right? Like, it, obviously, you could get a, a really easy win against someone that's not, you know, running CC food or anything like that. Oh, and he was also running Roxy. Oh, no, he was running blue Roxy frontline. Yeah, and then he had LRS from, from the back. But yeah, no, if I was running CC food, I would have definitely won the match though, right? It's just because I'm running wine food that I'm going second and I'm losing that match. Unfortunately, but wine food is the way to go though because it makes you get that, get more points, right, on the win. So, uh, yeah, man. Amazing. What do I do if Levi and Roxy don't do damage on the last phase of Bird? Then rely on uh, LR Escanor for his ultimate and then his single target. His single target will definitely do a lot of damage. Uh, for sure. Let's see. There we go. See? Just like that. And when we LCC uh, like that, then we got a free win right there. So, um, yeah, let's do that. Let's attack his Escanor then, right? Damn, yeah, that did like no damage though. Um, and a single target, boom. And on this side, we could just do AoE, AoE, single target. Let's see here, let's see. Oh my, oh! He doesn't have his buff yet, so he's not gonna do crazy damage, yeah. Arthur only does, like, insane damage after he gets his buff. Okay, fair. I mean, the guy went for it. Now I have taunt onto my, onto my Arthur here still. Um, we do lose a lot of debuffs, though, but, uh, we should still be good, I'd say. I mean, uh, this, this, and then that, I guess, would probably be the best way to go about it. That did a lot of damage. That applies a little bit, a little bit more debuffs. Arthur! Let's go. Look at that. There we go. There we go. That is why we do that. That's why we rely on Arthur and not LR Asker. If you guys remember the live stream... Uh, when we did the PvP versus viewers, look, look what happens when I attack with Escanor. I don't kill, but then when I attack with Arthur, I'm fine though, man. Uh, hey, amazing. Watch the squirrel have stance cancel, corrosion, poison, debuff, and immortality in the final phase. Is possible? Definitely a possibility. 
Definitely a possibility, man. I'm I'm not opposed to them doing like something like super unique though. I mean, I would like them to do more unique things anyway, right? I think that is uh, what they should be doing. So um, let's do that and then that. I think it's good to go. Bro, Alar Askinar is crazy. Like he's just so ignorant, bro. The man does a million damage. <laughs> like, or not even a million. It was like 200k on each of them. Level 1 cards, bro. It's crazy. Level 1 cards is crazy, though. He was running the Eastern backline, though, for, I guess, the... the um, what's it called? The basic stat build-up. This is a bot, though. This is a bot. I just took it from the latency. It's a bot. He is the center pride for a reason. That's true. That is definitely very true. Yeah, see, look how much I get from a win, though, right? Like, I get 45 when I and, and I when I lost, I lost 15 only. So is is wine food worth it? Yeah, I mean, if you can win one one match and then lose like three, you would still make up what you lost and more. So like, I think running wine food regardless is fine if you have good CC. If you have like really good CC for where you're at, um, definitely run wine food, man. It it is very good. Alright, let's reset this. Alright, we got a Yuri team. 250! My guy's running CC food 250k. Um, no, I think I lost this match, y'all. I'm not gonna lie, I think I lost this match. Unless... I did get a merge. I did actually get a merge. I could kill his Yuri. I could kill his Yuri, actually. Wait, really? He's gonna do that? I mean, that, that's a good play from him, too. I'm not gonna lie. That is a good play as well, but that doesn't kill... That doesn't... Um, sure. I mean, I'm gonna do this, though. I'm gonna go for the kill on Yuri. He's not Tarmioling Yuri. No way. I was about to say, you're not Tarmioling Yuri, bro. This is killing it better. There we go. Okay, so now we have my, my taunt, though. He doesn't have his taunt, so I'm about to win the match, actually. I'm actually about to win this match right now, because I have the taunt. Wait, he might have sold the bag, y'all. Um, maybe, maybe. I don't know. Maybe. He wasted all his bond cards. I killed his Yuri. But he got all his bond cards back, it looks like. He's gonna go for my Askin right now. Okay. I think Arthur might be able to solo win though, still. Like. I think I can pull it back. Let's see. And AoE. He has AoE infect. See, that doesn't do, like, crazy damage yet, though. But now I have my buff. Now I'm cooking, though, right? So, like, I'm gonna do... I'm gonna do... This. And then... I'll go for the kill on his Essen, or he'll lose gauge on his bond. Damn, that did, like, no damage, though. Oh, my Oru! Yikes. <laughs> it wasn't enough, y'all. Uh, okay, never mind, we lost. That, that, that's what happens though going second, right? Like, that's why it's a go first or lose meta. Like, I have maybe a chance going second to win, but it's just, it's not that, it's not that, you know, it's not that attainable, unfortunately. Um, let's see. I have Tarmiel Link. I have Tarmiel Link, so maybe I tank. Let's see. Is he gonna go for Bond's attack? Really? I think I tanked that. I think. No, it's Arthur. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. No way. <laughs> yep. That's what happens, guys. That's what happens. You know what I'm gonna do? She doesn't have an AOV, I lost. <laughs> oh my gosh. You hate to see it, man. But yeah, I only lose 15. So you see how I still like had like a net positive there? Even though I played on all those matches. Like it technically was a net positive, you know? So even though uh all the issues. Uh I have a lot of good meta and built characters and teams, decent equips. I'm stuck in uh and stuck in camp beat story, barely beating the bird. What should I do? Um, yeah, no, so, uh, D, I'll definitely look into working on some characters that would benefit your account. Um, go to my must-invest videos. Go to those videos. I did a series during, uh, New Year's where I did a must-invest. And, uh, definitely go, go to those videos and watch who I, who I recommended. Right? Because, uh, there's a lot of characters, um, that I, that I told people that, that you should level up, right? Um, a lot of really good characters you can level up. And that'll, that'll probably help you out with your Demonic Beast and also your story, right? So, uh, check those videos out, man, for sure. Um, let's do this, this, that.
Uh, let's see. I'm going to look him come back. Sure, D. You're good. Okay, BLTC, look at that. Look at that. So now we've won the match instantly. Alright, so now we can actually just triple attack. This is nice, because now we can just do this, this, and that. What's up, guys? Hope everybody is doing great. Uh, Thiago, welcome to the stream, man. Hope you're doing well. I see a lot of people running SR Liz backline, too. That doesn't work with LR Espinor, man. I don't know why people do that. That's just not what you should be running, bro. I, I don't get that team. I don't get that. Because you're not killing my Arthur, bro. You're definitely not. And I got a rank 3 single target for your, uh, for your Arthur, bro. I got you. I got you covered. Um, okay, let's do... Let's do this. Let's do... Mm, I'm gonna do this and this with Escanor. Look how much damage that does, bro. Like, that's insane. I probably should have attacked his Arthur, though. Um, but there goes his, uh, his bond. Ah, oh, he lived with a sliver, bro. If I lose because he has double AoE and one makes me, I'm gonna be very mad. I don't think I don't think he does it though, but I'd be very, very triggered right here. Let's see. Okay, he's not doing enough damage. We're good, we're good, we're good. Luckily. Yeah, once you lose all your HP buffers, your team kind of falls apart. Yeah. That was a real player too. 48 on our win, guys. Like look at that. Like, yeah, like uh wine food is definitely the way to go. Uh okay. Let me send out my friendship coins, get a little bit more PvP stamina. And yeah, oh, I forgot to claim my PvP. Look at that, bro. You see, I don't even claim my PvP stuff. All right, there we go. We actually did get two from that. Got two PvP stamina. So maybe I use those real quick. Because that might be all we need. Press up in. Yeah, I need to buy more wine food. Uh, what gear do you think you should run on LR Escanor? Um, HP defense for a high tier PvP. Um, low tier PvP, probably attack defense and then PvE attack crit damage. Yeah. Or you can do attack crit damage, low tier PvP too, I guess. It doesn't matter. Um, but like high tier PvP with Escanor, you're definitely running HP to LTC. Oh, wow. Look at that. Let me show you guys a matchup between, uh, Meliodas and, and, uh, Arthur, right? Meliodas and Arthur is a uh, is a good setup, but um, oh, he's not running a commandment either. But regardless, right? Like, let's say I do, um, I could just do this, guys. I could just move cards like that and instantly have chaos, right? Just like that. So even if he had Mon Speed Link, I'm like, okay, I'm merging and I and I'm fine, you know. So um, Red Zeldris Link, I think, is a way to cuck uh, an Arthur a lot better though. If you run that, I think that's definitely a way to cuck Arthur a lot easier, for sure though. Oh, really? This is a bot. It has to be. No way he decided to do that. That is a bot-ass play right there. I'm not going to lie, guys. All right, let's do this. Let's do that. And then let's do that and kill the melee. And then GG. Zeldris is definitely the superior commandment to run. Yeah, when people thought of, like, Monspy, what were they thinking? I move my cards and I win the match, guys. With, with Zeldris Link, you have to top deck a merge. That's the only way you can get Call of Chaos on your turn. Because you're using three cards, right? You have to use three cards. And a merge, uh, when you merge, it will only give you one call of chaos. So you would have to get a natural merge with Arthur, right? Initially. And then you would be able to do it. That would literally be the only way you could get turn two call of chaos. So that's why Red Zeldris Link is like, if you're going to run it to kind of counter this team, is a little bit better, right? But if Arthur gets a natural merge, though, like if I got one, then I still beat the, the Sins team, right? So it's RNG at the end of the day, but... That's how it's going to be. Um, let's do this, this, that. And then he's going to lose gauge anyway. Hey, what's your equipment farm rotation? Uh, what do you mean by that, Creed? Newbie here? Like, like, uh, what do you mean? Like, what I do for my gear grinding? Is that what you mean? Newbie here? What's up? What's up? 
Um, I wish they would do more combo units besides Oslo and Hawk. I agree. I agree for sure. Yeah, look how little damage he's doing now, bro. That's crazy. Floor 3 Bird just turned on uh, the Sand Steam and he's giving me a bad time. I see. I see, I see. I see that. Boom. Yeah, 6-6 six, six bond now on the main account is nice as well, y'all. I do like that. And look at that, guys. Champion 1. Just like that. You know, you win two matches going from Champion 1 into thing. Like, let, let's see my PvP re record. Like, it probably isn't even good, but I still made it into Champion 1 that quickly. Yeah, I'm 60% win rate, but I'm in Champion 1. Like, you see how nice that is? Like, that's super convenient. For sure, man. Alrighty, guys. We'll do one more PvP match here, and then I think we will wrap up stream after this. We are at about two hours in. Um, so, yeah, man. We, we had a pretty good stream today, though. Uh, but, yeah, no, Creed. In terms of, like, gear farming, though, bro, I usually just do, like, the regular gear on, on equipment. Uh, what do you use? Wine food? Yeah, wine food. So, like, even though I lose some matches, you'll only lose, like, 15, right? And you'll gain, like, 40 on a win. And if it's, like, a consecutive win, you'll you'll get even more, right? So, um, yeah, I, li I like to do uh, wine food. I think it is uh, the best setup, uh, personally. Uh, if you just want to push for champion one or push any ranks in, in general. Um, yeah. Uh, speaking of bad times, have you ever played Undertale? I've not, man. I've not. I've not. I heard it's good, though. Uh, I'm thinking about finishing on Arthur just to get 6-6 six, six bond. I'm at 5-6 right now. Gumbo, man. Don't try your luck, bro. Don't try your luck, man. Don't try your luck. It is, you know, at the end of the day, it is RNG, bro. Remember that, right? At the end of the day, it is RNG. So, my thing is, don't chase on featureds. Only go for characters you know you can guarantee. And in that scenario, you cannot guarantee either. So, I'm not going to recommend it for you, man. Oh. Arthur's so good, man. I'm so glad he's actually, like, a good unit. Because I know people were going to be, like, so, like, like mad if he wasn't. Because <laughs> everyone hyped up Chaos Arthur like crazy. I did, too, though. I'm part of that. But he's such a, like... He is, like... He had to be broken, man. That That's what it is. He had to be good, right? Um, Where is he? Where is he? Oh, I have to feed the dupe as well for, for this Arthur. Forgot. I got that dupe as well. But yeah, no. Um, thank you guys for coming through to the stream, man. That is going to be it for today's live, guys. Uh, oh, I did not mean to click that. Um, I do appreciate y'all coming through for the stream, man. Um, I do appreciate it. We'll be back again streaming tomorrow, so same time. Um, for you guys, it might be 1 p.m. now, though, because the Daylight Savings did change it up a little bit, so I might be an hour early. Um, but uh, yeah, no, it should be 2 p.m. after Daylight Savings now when I do stream Eastern. So uh, yeah, guys, it obviously depends. But thank you guys for coming through to the stream, as always. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you guys on the next one, man. Peace out. Um, Arthur is, uh, he's a very, very good character, guys. Very, very good character. Where is Arthur at? Where is this guy at? I gotta show y'all the, uh, the, the Chaos Arthur, man. He really is him. Yeah, you guys gotta get him, man. You guys gotta get him. He's very good. So, thank you guys for coming through. We'll see you guys on the next one, man. Peace out. Have a good rest of your day.